What's up guys, Silent here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to very easily encrypt and decrypt text, files, get HVIDs and get hashes. And the best thing is this doesn't just work on C Sharp but it also works with Visual Basic and probably other .NET uh, languages such as... I I'm not sure about F Sharp but... So I know I am lazy and maybe some of you guys are also lazy and that's why we're programmers because we want to make our and other people's lives easier right so if you're that kind of person then you don't want to always type the hashing algorithms or encryption and decryption things but you want to have a library a dll library which contains it all and you just import it to use it whenever you need wherever you need therefore i put together a library with all the code I've used for hashing, encryption, etc. It's not... Uh, I didn't uh, like cr completely create it, however it's everything I used and therefore I want to share it. So how am I going to add this to my project? So what you want to do is, once you have the file, you want to go to references, right click references, in the solution explorer and click add reference and then go browse browse the file it's called hazardedit.tools.dll and you want to add that but since i have it already it appears here and you need to check it however if you run it for the first time or edit for the first time it will be automatically checked you also have the file version so just in case i add more features to it and upload it uh, you know you have an older or newer file you want to click OK and it will be added. And what you want to do is just for Visual Basic at first you want to go Imports, Hazard Edit. And as you can see here I'm accessing the hashing MD5 method. So however I'm not so much into Visual Basic anymore at least. I'm going to close the project and let's look at the C Sharp. So it works the same way. Right here I have the Hazard Edit tools. And right here I have the C Sharp uh, yeah, basically using function for uh, using this library which is also called hazard edit so you want to declare it on top and then you can access it really easy so what you need to know is that the AIS requires a key which is 256 bit uh, of size which is equivalent to 32 characters and an IV which is 128 bits which is equivalent to 16 characters and it also contains a Ryan Dell uh, encryption method and here credits to David Asar who assisted me, uh, that's his channel on YouTube, who assisted me with the whole AS uh, process and making AS work for me the proper way. So I included both the AS managed and the Ryandale which is called my AS in the library. The difference is that you have to make a object from the my AS, uh, this time I called it encoder, and you want to change the credentials obviously because you don't want to use the basic one which everyone has because it's easy to crack it then so you want to first set the credentials and then you can use simply encoder dot decrypt or encrypt and it tells you what it needs just the unencrypted text and you're good to go so let's look at the other AS which is the AS managed so you want to type as.encrypt or decrypt, input the text you want to encrypt, the key and IV, and you're good to go. So yeah, let's look at the next thing, hashing. So in this case, for this example particularly, I used the SHA-256M. M stands for managed because on the one place I used the crypto service provider and here it's uh, managed. So it gets you different hashes. I don't know about the exact difference really. However you get different hashes so keep in mind that you use the same when you do this. So this is how we get the hash. I have included quite a few hash hashing methods. I have MD5, SHA-1, SHA-1M, 256M, etc. until uh, 512. We have plenty of those. Let's look at the HVID so you can easily get the HVID. In this case I'm getting the baseboard ID. However you can also get 
quite a few more. You can get the baseboard machine UID, processor ID, and volume disk ID very easily. Those are all string methods, so you input nothing and get uh, the ID. And let's look at the file encryption, which is also included. So I have, and let's delete these. I have a text which is containing cle uh, some clear text. So what you want to do is, since these are all static, static functions, you can just use them just like that, unlike the MyIS. So you want to go file encryption dot encrypt file. This is the source file, and you can just read it up right here. Source file, output file, the key, and I'm using the key from right here. Salt, uh, which is a byte array, and I'm using the standard salt from the library. And how often you want to repeat the process. So the encryption changes on how often you repeat it. If you do it one time, it's really unsafe. The more you do it, the safer it is. And of course, decrypt file, I do it again. So I encrypt text into enct, uh, enct, yeah. And then I decrypt enct to dect. So we can try it out and read if it uh, worked. So here I have the hash, encrypt, and baseboard ID, and decrypt the text. So I encrypt the text with AES, and then I decrypt it just for presentation. So let's run this really quick. Mark it. So here is the SHA-256. Here is the encrypted text, which was some encrypted text. This is some text to be encrypted. Here's the baseboard ID, and here's the text decrypted. So you can see it's the same. And also what happened is we took this text, made an encrypted one from here, and decrypted it again. And now I'm going to show you how the encrypted one changes. Let's copy this how the encrypted one changes when you change how many times you want to encrypt it. Okay, so let's put this one right here and see how it uh, changes dramatically. It even looks shorter because it used uh, different things which are shorter, I guess. However, we still got the some clear text. So keep in mind you have to use the same things you use for encryption, also in decryption. So, yeah. This is it. Uh, I hope this helps you a lot when you're doing this routine, always coming back things when you, for example, release software or make accounts, hash passwords, hash, I don't know, whichever you do. So I hope this helps you and see you guys next time. Peace out.